Project Steel here, and I'm getting ready to play Space Quest 2. It's the sequel to the last one, obviously, Space Quest. Uh, I believe Space Quest came out in 87, 86 or 87. I'm not sure what year this one came out in, but uh, it's definitely an old game, and I never played, I played the first Space Quest as a kid, but I never played this one, so this one's completely new to me. So let me go ahead and give it a shot. Log on for duty, enter your name. Oh. Project Steel. Orbital Station 4 is one of many orbiting Xenon, your home planet. It is a transfer point for travelers seeking transportation to various planets in the Ernan system. As we begin this chapter of our story, we find you, Project Steel, Ace Janitor, doing what you do best. Okay, and I'm not controlling him here, so let's see, can I control him? No. A beep emanates from your wristwatch. You release your grip on the broom. There goes my broom. Hopefully I don't need the broom. The broom floats away, never to be used again. That makes the third one this week. Wait till your boss finds out. Okay, now I can move around. Let me look around. It's always the best thing to do first. You're working outside Xenon Orbital Station 4. This area hasn't been completed yet. You have been sent out here to remove construction debris and space dust. Let's bring any debris. Okay, that's not important then. I've lost the broom, so I'm assuming I need to go back inside. Uh, I don't know if this is the door. No? No door here? Uh, what is that on the ceiling? Look at ceiling. You stare at the ceiling, which as usual is overhead. Nothing exciting is learned through this act. Come on, man. There's a big red blue thing on the ceiling. Okay, I don't know where to go. So I'm going to go this way. It looks like a grid, but it could be glass. Nope. Due to an obvious lack of common sense, you have stepped off the edge. Lost your magnetic grip of the ship and drifted to your death. Another senseless tragedy. You can help prevent this. Vote yes on the bottom. Is I don't know way, any way to turn the music down on this thing. The music is so loud. back where I was. Let me save it here so I don't have to go through this little, that little scene again. Save. Start. Now, what am I supposed to do? Look for broom. Uh, I was too anxious to hit enter. It's too late for that. You lost it. Hmm. Look for door. It's in my inventory. Nothing. Look at watch. It did beep. There we go. We got something going on. Press F10 when done. Look at light. A light flashes on the watch's upper left corner. It means you have a caller waiting. Okay, okay. Um, look at buttons. I don't know what they do. Look at buttons. There are three, H, C, and T. Look at H button. Just press F10 or hit a button. Hit H button. Okay. It's making me angry now. I'm telling it what to do here. Or a button. Push left button. Look at, why is it not letting me do anything here? There are three, H, C, and T. Push C button. Oh, okay. 
Project Steel, get in here on the double. You've got a mess to clean up in the shuttle, which just returned. One of the passengers got space sick on the way down. Besides, you should have gotten out there an hour ago. Get a move on. With that, the image disappears. It's crazy back then. That was science fiction technology. And, uh, you know, imaginary, but we can FaceTime all we want now. Where's the door? Where is the door? Let me save it again. I, I, this is this is a, a difficult start. I don't know where to go. Clearly, don't see a door. It seems like it'd be right there, maybe. Huh? Did I already look for a door? Doesn't appear to be there. Look for exit. Use jetpack, just taking a guess here. Current one of your options. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, just figured that out on accident. So I'm stuck to the ship. That's what this thing is. I would have never guessed that. Oh, cool, it's like a bubble. I wouldn't have guessed that. Pretty cool, though. Stand by for decontamination. I uh, hope I'm decam decontaminated. Put on suit. Okay. And we're going to save again, because this game, I don't know if you watched me play the last one, but this game is brutal. You die, and that's it. It's over. You reload or restart. So you got to save a lot. Um, it's always good to look around, like I said. This is the airlock chamber. From here you can gain extra veh vehicular access. Spare suits hang on the back wall. Some lockers are mounted on the side wall. Usually if it mentions something, you should check it out. The lockers are all closed. There's nothing too interesting about them. But not this particular case. Uh -huh, I didn't want to actually step on the head again. <clears throat> oh, that's pretty cool. They got some guys in the foreground. It's about time you got in here. Project Steel, head for the shuttle bay on the double. I'm warning you, you're on your last leg around here, bud. One more screw up in your history. Wasn't I a hero from the last one? He then orders the transportation officer to send you directly to the shuttle bay and nowhere else until the job has been completed. Look around. You're in the transportation control room of the orbital station. The room is abuzz with activity as technicians monitor XOS-4 operations. A pneumatic transport tube is accessible from the walkway above. Oh, I see it up there, that red thing. So I guess this would be an elevator. Now he said don't go anywhere else. I'm going to save it and I'm going to try to go somewhere else. Let's see, he went out this way. I can't go that way. Alright, I suppose that's where I'm going then. I seem to be stuck for a second. Alright. Okay. I see is a tube. Is it gonna like is that like a little pod? I get in it and shoots me down the tube. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Shoop. And boom. Well, that's a big shuttle. I didn't have anything that big in the first Space Quest. Exciting. I'm here to clean up vomit. Alright, let's look around here. 
Here in the orbital station shuttle bay, a shuttle fresh from a passenger drop-off on Xenon is refueling for its next trip. A pneumatic transport tube is accessible from the walkway. A refueler replenishes the shuttle's supply. Look at shuttle. The shuttlecraft is your standard 10-passenger short commute vehicle. It was primarily designed to ferry people and supplies between orbital stations, Xenon, and other orbiting spacecraft. Step over hose. Hmm. Look at hose. Nothing special about the hose. It merely provides a means of routing fuel from the refueler to the vessel. Okay. Can I walk under the ship? Oh, I can. All right. <clears throat> you enter the shuttle and start sniffing around for the mess you must clean. You're surprised to find that the shuttle is not empty. There are two extremely ugly suckers walking towards you. Hey, what the... Your favorite expletive here. It's a trap. Your protest is cut short as two interstellar, interstellar ruffians proceed to thump you unconscious. Everything fades. Oh, and it did. Time passes. More time passes. A strange dream turns into realization that you are being shaken and talked to by a voice unfamiliar to you. A dull ache triggers a distant memory of a scuffle in which you are the focal point. Upon awakening... From your forced rest, it becomes quite apparent that you aren't in Kansas or Xenon anymore. You find that you are being held upright and under physical restraint from both sides by, you guess, the galactic goons you met on the shuttle. As you try to struggle free, you notice that your hands are tied behind your back. As the eyes dial into focus, you make out an oddly disfigured being seated before you. Oh my lord. A sagging mass of flesh that appears to have been human at one time. Tubes and wires extend from his body, leading to machines which keep him alive. Suddenly, his visage stirs and he begins to speak. He looks like Darth Vader when he got his helmet pulled off, except blue. Well, well. Did we have a nice nap? I thought we would have to resort to drastic measures to wake you. Oh, well. Welcome to my humble fortress, Project Steel. The name's Volhall. Sludge Volhall. I was the genius behind the star generator when it was still in the concept stages. Oh, that's the thing I blew up. It was to be my ultimate war weapon until some sissy pants scientist decided it would be better used saving lives rather than destroying them. What a waste of technology. Excuse me if I sound bitter. Anyway, you ruined my Sarian operation. I was going to use the star generator to make Xeon pay for what they did to me. They were going to know my wrath in a big way. You somehow managed to change all of that. Oh, I suppose I should have known better than to use those mental midget Sarians. That's not the point, however. You are responsible and you shall pay. Besides, I have another plan, and you and you'll not be around to foil it. I have devised a plan so horrible, so frightening, diabolical, that no one will be able to stop me. Observe my latest creation. Bad guys in the 80s would never just kill you. They would tell you what they were going to do first. I intend to infest your planet with thousands of these genetically engineered door-to-door -door life insurance salesmen. I will at least reap sweet revenge from the last scientific community that mocked me. My plan was to kill you, but I've had a change of heart. Ha ha ha, get it? He peers down at the hoses protruding from his chest and connected to a life support system. Forgive me, I'm a kidder. I've decided I would get much more enjoyment watching you suffer. My associates will escort you to the surface of Labion where you will perform many painful hours of manual labor in my mines. Be seeing you. An injection renders you unconscious. Your drug's carcass is loaded onto a shuttle. Upon reviving, you look through the viewing port to see Vohal's massive asteroid fortress getting smaller. That's pretty cool. I always thought asteroid fortresses were the best. man or something. After touching down on a giant landing platform, you were ushered to a hovercraft waiting to transport you to the mining site. Utter despair sets in. It's a 
lot of story in this one. Alright, I'm gonna kill the sound on that for a minute. The last one didn't have this much story. Can I do something? No. Can I move? No. No. Can't do anything. Cut the sound back on. Uh oh. Oh great, I suppose we're out of fuel. Way to go, Gorf Brass. Don't blame me, it was your turn to fill it up. You're always forgetting to do it. Wait till the master finds out. You're in big trouble. Hey, don't talk to me that way, you slime bucket. I filled it last time. Dip. The argument between the two guards is cut short as gravity reasserts itself. Beeping. Good thing the guard broke your fall. He doesn't look too happy about it, though. Look around. You seem to be in a rather exotic forest. The growth here is unlike anything you're used to. On the ground lies the wreckage of the hovercraft you crashed in. Nearby are the bodies of your former captors. Look at are those eyes down there in the bushes. The guard appears to be less thick than you remember him. Many of his formerly contained body fluids seem to be at large. Search body. You search the grotesque body and find a small, thin magnetic card. It looks like a key card. You seem to recall seeing one somewhere in the past. Take key card. Okay. Look at hovercraft. The hovercraft has been reduced to a mound of twisted wreckage. Everything that was straight is bent. Everything that was bent is benter. There appear to be no salvageable parts. Let's search it. There's a beeping. I forget what that is. Everything inside is twisted and bent. You do not notice. You do notice a button with a flashing light next to it. It seems to be emitting a high-pitched beep. press the button, the light goes dark, and you no longer notice the high-pitched beep. Okay. Let's look at it now. You see a normal button and light. The light is currently off. Let me check my watch. Do I have it? It does not seem to be in your sight now. I've got an order form. A dialect translator and a key card. What's the order form? This is an order form you remove from a magazine for a free Labian terror beast. Mating whistle. It's ready to be mailed. Okay. Uh, let's save it. Oh, no, no. I didn't want to do that. I always leave some old saves in case you mess up real bad and have to go back even further. Okay. So, I guess I just gotta pick a direction. Can I go? I probably can't go down. The foliage here is much too dense for you to pass through, so I can either go left or right. I wanna go right first. Okay, some giant pink mushrooms. My gut's telling me to go left. But for some reason I wanna try this. right. Look around. You are standing in a dark, damp portion of the forest. There are some very large mushroom-like growths here. Look at mushrooms. Aside from their enormous size, they appear to be your average garden variety mushrooms. Maybe I can grab a chunk. Ooh, nope. He's smiling. The mushroom ate me and it's smiling. Holy jeez, boy, that mushroom thing sucked you clean up. You can't move a muscle nor see a speck of light. You begin feeling waves of tingling warmth and moisture. Suddenly it's not so bad in here. Wow, check out the colors, dude. Your body and mind enjoy the short-lived buzz that is a side effect of the lethal poison you now marinate in. You're ob oblivious to the end. Not a bad way to go, actually. But it sure is early in the game. I had high hopes for you. They said, who? Project Steel? Not a chance. That chump won't last 20 minutes. I said, no way. Project Steel isn't that lame. So anyway, don't make me look stupid too. 
It has been a pleasure watching you play Space Quest 2. Man, this game is brutal. It's brutal. tell if I can go to the right or if I can go up looks like I can go up and what, what use am I gonna have for these giant pink mushrooms maybe if somebody's the, the foliage here is much too dense maybe if somebody's following me I can run between them and they'll get eaten up I don't, I don't know maybe maybe they don't have a use let's see foliage here is much too dense okay well it's a dead end all right, I guess I'll just head back. And I'm going to be very careful not to touch the mushroom. I wonder if all of them will smile after they eat me. Okay. Oh, there's the other guy's body. I didn't see it before. Come on, man. What is that? Ah, uh, you fall into the bottom of a concealed pit. You might have survived the fall had you not come in contact with several 30 centimeter long spikes planted vertically along the bottom of the pit. Come on, now we just got random pits. Another senseless tragedy you can help. Uh, so that's why you have to save often in this game because it's just crazy. How would I ever know that was there? You know, I'm not going back. I know the mushrooms are there. Time to go left. I guess my gut react, my gut instinct was right when it was telling me to go left in the first place. Oh. Well, that's interesting. If I go up behind this tree, it looks like maybe I can walk behind those bushes over there. His eyes in the background are freaking me out. I'm stuck behind a tree. Oh, somehow I made it. There's some really big trees. I'm going to save it in case I fall in another uh, concealed pit. Let's call this one North of Crash. Suddenly, from somewhere to the east, you hear a twang followed by a high pitched shriek. That doesn't sound good. I guess I should probably check it out though. Hopefully I can go this way. Oh, cool. What is that? Look around. You're in another area of the forest. The growth seems to be getting heavier here. Okay, let's not... You're not going to mention that dude over there? Naked guy? Look at man. The little creature caught in the snare has thick-looking pinkish skin. He looks to be less than a meter tall. He doesn't seem too thrilled with, thrilled with his predicament. Yeah, I imagine he doesn't. Talk to man. He doesn't respond. Okay, look at trap. That does not seem to be in your sight now. Look at rope. The rope looks brown and long. Mm. Untie rope. You're too far away. Untie rope. There you go. Come on, dude. You just gonna run off? Oh, he's coming back. Ah, uh, he's going off. Before disappearing through a tiny hole in the brush, the little creature gives you a long glance. Okay, well. Hopefully that means he's gonna come back later and help me when I need it. Maybe untie me from some kind of snare. See if I can follow. It said he went through a tiny hole, but maybe there's a large hole also. No. Can't get through. No. Can't get through there either. Alright, look, there's eyes even up at the top of the tree. Man. Uh, I feel like I should investigate this trap a little more than I have. First, I'm going to see if I can go right from up top. That's a negative. 
Okay. Let's check out this trap. I feel like there should be more things that should be gathering, but I don't know. Let's look at this rock. Rocks in this region are all gray, fairly rounded. There appears to be nothing special about them. Look at the rope. Uh, same thing. <clears throat> see if I can grab the rope. Take rope. That's a shame. Not the way the creature on the rope is out of your reach. A rope would come in very handy. Ropes can be used for all kinds of things. Okay, should I go up or left? Let's go up. Looks far more interesting. I don't know, the edge on the left also looks like it might pull the dense foliage line on me. I wish that I didn't have to walk so slow. Can I get out this way? Some more eyes right there. <clears throat> oh! Hey, that's cool. I found something. A pod or something. Look around. There's another clearing in the otherwise heavily wooded area of the forest. There is a large plateau in the back. Look at plateau. I don't understand the word plateau. Maybe I spelled it wrong. Look at machine. The mailbox looks typical for a mailbox. There is a slot, a tray, and a sign. Read mailbox. Read sign. Sign says Radical Express when it totally, no doubt, for sure has to be there a while previously. I bet I need to mail that form I've got for the mating creature mating whistle thing. Mail form. You drop the order form into the box. Mailbox hums and buzzes for a while, then an object of some sort drops into the tray at the base of the box. Machine goes silent. Get uh, object. Okay. Now what is the object? Oh, it is the whistle. Look at the whistle. Whistle is usual looking. Okay. I'm going to save it, and I, I probably don't need to use the whistle right now. I imagine I'll know when it's time to use the whistle, but you know what? I'm going to blow the whistle anyway. Okay, so blowing the whistle doesn't seem to be doing anything. Not yet, at least. But you know, it said, I don't remember exactly, the whistle was for some kind of alien beast mating whistle. So I guess if I blow it at a time when I'm not supposed to, then nothing's going to happen. If I blow it at the right time, then some kind of alien beast is going to come charging in and help me out of whatever sticky situation I end up in. So... I guess that means that whenever I'm stuck and I don't know what to do, I can blow the whistle and hope for the best. If you hear something, it sounds uh, not unlike the hovercraft you wrecked in. Well, I don't want to stay around for that. If one of those hovercrafts come around, they're either going to shoot me or they're going to capture me and take me wherever it is I don't want to go. Which maybe that's part of the story, to get captured, but I doubt it. Let's see if I can go up here. Can't go left. Oh! Now, there's a guy again, or else it's a bunch of them. Look around. You're in another clearing in the forest. This one seems to be occupied by a type of growth you are not familiar with. Look at growth. It appears to be some kind of overdeveloped root. There is a pulsating growth near the middle, which is connected to several meters of root-like appendages. Okay. What's the guy doing back there? Ain't gonna mention him? Look at man. The odd little pink dude is running away. Of course he is. Of course he is. Alright. Okay, I kind of figured that's what was gonna happen if I touched the root. Yep.
digestive system. What you experience next is too horrible to describe. Let's just say that you die as a result. You are dead. Trust me. Ah, oh, that's brutal. So this thing is going to be like a maze. May please you know that during the night it didn't digest well and gastric distress made it extremely uncomfortable for other root monsters. So I gave him gas. He farted all night. Okay, I'm going to make that long walk back. Alright, let me try this again. We'll save it first. Save it over whistle. So I need to make it through this maze. Doesn't look that hard. See, it's two different loops. I imagine I have to go to the big loop. A little bit further to go. Okay. Yeah, it would be nice if you could squat under the shorter loop, but I don't think it's going to uh, be that nice to me. Oh, I'm going to go all the way to the left to the other one. Why can't he just jump over this? That would make things a lot easier. Crap, I didn't even think I got close to that. All right, I'm going to try to make it through this. Okay, I've made it this far. I had to save a whole bunch. It was very stressful. Um, I've got here. I think I can get it from here. So that took me about 30 tries to get to this point. So hopefully I can just go right on through this loop and make it to those berries or whatever's over there. Oh, he ducked for that one. All right. Okay, that was terrible. Look at berries. Berries hanging on the bush look quite juicy and smell very pungent. We'll save it before I die and have to go through this maze again. We'll pick some berries. Oh man, look at look at me! I'm really picking some berries. He snagged some of the odoriferous red berries. Should I eat them? Berries. Look at berries. A very strange red berries pack a very pungent aroma. Taste berries. You get them near your mouth and notice the pungent scent. Wisely, you change your mind. Okay. Do I still have them? Yeah, I still got them. All right, I'm going to go ahead and save it here because that was uh, pretty stressful and it's taken me a while. So I'm going to stop there. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. If you did, definitely give me a like. I've never played this one before. I played Space Quest 1 before as a kid. Never played this one. This one's totally new to me. If I'm making any big mistakes that you know of, comment below and let me know. Help me out here. And um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I've got a lot of good content and more to come. And I hope to see you next time.